what ventricular megaly means for your child is not um, a question that we can answer from a single ultrasound, and it may not be a question we can answer even during the pregnancy. What we try to do is gather all the other information from the additional tests that we do, and then give you an indication of how concerned we are and what the other possibilities um, about problems might be. If we find that the ventricular megaly is very severe, the fluid spaces are very large or worsening over time, or if there are signs of these chromosome problems or of infection or other organ problems, then we're going to be very concerned about the potential for your child to have um, a, a difficult uh, pregnancy or even um, serious developmental difficulties after they're born. It's a very different situation, however, if what we find is mild ventricular megaly that is stable and all the other testing is normal. There's actually uh, been a pretty uh, significant follow-up of children where this is the case, what we call isolated ventricular megaly that's mild. And actually, the majority of these children learn to walk on time, learn to talk on time. And in studies where they followed them with developmental tests, over 90% score in the normal range on developmental tests. So it's really all of this additional information and how it changes over time that is the most important for what we can tell you about what to expect.